Hey, in this video, I want to talk about fasting. Is it healthy? Go over the pros, cons to it. Uh, before I begin, there's a link below. If you click on it, I'm giving away a free video guide that shares a bunch of tips on alternative medicine and dietary supplements. Now, fasting has been around for a long, long time. Just look at Moses in the Bible. He fasted for 40 days when he saw, when he got the commandments. Um, it's in uh, the Muslim religion, Ramadan. Uh, even Gandhi fasted during protests and everything. Um, so is it healthy? Well, let's talk about the negatives first. The first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, it's difficult enough as it is to eat healthy, and then talking about going without food, it's just more difficult. It's, it's almost like those crazy New Year's, Year's resolutions that nobody follows up with. And, you know, I think it might be a good idea to kind of take baby steps towards goals rather than just some crazy idea where you yo-yo back. So the first negative is it's really pretty difficult. It is. Uh, because we're just used to eating food. Uh, the second thing is that you know it's going to be a little bit of an unpleasant, right? I mean, you know you're going to be like, hey, my body, I want food now. And, and so it's going to suck a little bit. Uh, so those are the, really the two big negatives. Um, also, the third, well, let's talk about the, the benefits now, okay? And there really are a lot of positives, health benefits to going without food for a little bit. Uh, researchers say that fasting flips a regenerative switch. Uh, which creates brand new white blood cells uh, and thus recreating the entire immune system, regenerating it. And this can be done within three days. So if you're feeling a little bit sick, don't eat. That's Maybe that's why your body feels nauseous. You're like, hey, don't eat. So that way we could get stronger. It's an interesting idea. Um, also, according to USC News, two, st two studies showed a really... A short-term fast starves cancer cells and helps chemotherapies really better target the cancer. Uh, researchers at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute found that men who fasted for 24 uh, hours had a 2,000% increase in human growth uh, hormone, which regrows cells, essentially. They had a significantly reduced triglycerides, a boost to their HDL cholesterol, really stabilized their blood sugar, and of course, lose weight. <laughs> Gotta be a benefit. Uh, next, children who suffer for epileptic seizures have fewer of them when placed on, on calorie-restricted diets. So you might be thinking that when you don't eat, you can't think as clearly. And this is really pretty fascinating. I'm a little bit skeptical about this study, but the one study in the National Library of Medicine showed that they took females and deprived them of food for 24 hours, and they really tested how sharp their minds were. And uh, none of the tasks, including sustained attention, attention focus, simple reaction time, or immediate memory are found to be impaired. And I'm a little bit skeptical on this because I haven't eaten in 16 hours, believe it or not, and I'm trying to memorize this video presentation. I keep having to look down, so <laughs> I don't know about this, okay? But here's something that's interesting, too. Performance on low processing, low tapping tasks were actually significantly poor when the subjects were deprived of food for, for 24 hours prior to testing. So low processing, low tapping task. And I couldn't figure out, I couldn't find what that means. I don't know what that means, okay? I've Googled it, I've looked everywhere, I don't know what that means. Um, so, in a nutshell, yeah, if you go without food, I'm sorry, but you're, 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 I think, I'm not sure if your memory and your thinking is, is as clear. But here's where it gets really interesting, okay? Over the long term, it's actually really good for your brain and your memory, studies show. So maybe not immediately when you're starving, it's like maybe, you know, but if you starve yourself a little bit, you restrict your calories, over the long term, you'll be smarter. Uh, According to the study, the United States Library of Medicine tested 50 people before and after uh, they had a 30% reduction in calories. And they found a significant increase in verbal memory scores after calorie restriction. So they got smarter. And if that was enough, restricting your calories uh, you, you consume can enable someone to live longer. Um, tests that show this when it comes to rats, yeast, flies, fish, monkeys, worms. They live longer. When it comes to humans, well, one idea is you, if you look at, say, Japan, that has the most people that live past 100, they practice something known as eating until you're 80% full. And there's one example right there. 
So anyways, uh, those are the pros, those are the cons. What do you think? Huh? Have you ever thinking about maybe skipping a couple meals here and there? Who knows? It may be a good thing in certain situations. Anyways, if you want to get more ideas on alternative medicine, um, I encourage you to click the link below. I talk about alternative medicine in a lot more detail on just a ton of health issues that, that you know we're all going to face as we get older and how to solve them. So there's a lot of great ideas. I really enjoyed making it. I, I had a lot of fun. I'm sure you're going to learn some things. I also go over supplements and herbs and just a ton of detail and, and go over really some tips on shopping for them and how to get them, which can be so helpful so many people okay anyways if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, I appreciate your, your time and just have a wonderful rest of your day okay uh, take care and bye